So we wanted to give you an inside tour of our 2022 Thor Windsport 31C RV. Come on. So we can get into all the outside stuff later, but here, come inside, take a look. Now, I'm sure the sun's adjusting, but uh, this is the fully extended view of the motorhome. So we have two slide outs and both are out right now. So you can see the dinette here, lots of storage everywhere. Everywhere you look, there's storage, okay? Up top, radio. So the all of the TVs work through one switch hub right up here. Even the outside exterior TV has one dinette. Now, the RV is a 2022 Thor Windsport, but it does have a Ford V8 Triton chassis on it, okay? So if you're asking why a V8, not a V10, it's 20,000 pounds. So in uh, 2020, was the last time that they put a V10 in the Thor wind sports. It actually had to do with a lot of mileage. They improved the V8 Triton engine to support this load. So it's actually got great gas mileage. But come up front, you can see touch screen, everything that you have in the whole motorhome is available on your cell phone, Bluetooth, panoramic windshield, and this modular here. Yeah, get the whole view. Oh yeah, of course you can't forget the top bunk. So this actually is an electric top bunk. We have it locked right now, but just a little switch here on the side, it comes down, electrical top bunk. It's about the size, a little shorter than a queen, a little bigger than a twin. Right here is your entire control. This pump screen from your water pumps to your gas, to your propane, to your generator, uh, all of your house batteries, your chassis, your inverters, okay? Everything from your house lights to the power module, to your AC units, and of course, this RV has two AC units, very important. We have a master AC, which has adjustments both here, you can do independent airflow, or you can shut those off up here and have a singular airflow. ACs work amazing. And of course, the ventilator fan here right in front of the kitchen. But again, everything that you need in this whole camper is monitored and controlled by this home touchscreen tablet here, and you can actually do it from your phone, from anywhere around the RV. Brand new appliances, uh, we've never even taken the labels off of them. You got the refrigerator, energy efficient cooling, uh, even the solar power up on top of the RV. The solar power trickle charges the batteries, house batteries enough, this refrigerator never loses power. Open it, let's open it, sure. Let's see, here's my hat, how big is it? That's how big it is, and of course the freezer, detailed and clean for you, microwave, Gas powered range, awesome, never failed. Oven, storage down below, lots of cabinets, extension table for the kitchen. Uh, let's see, go back here. All right, so when we first got this RV, we were like, what the heck do we need two bathrooms for? But I'm telling you, I had no idea. We rarely used the bathroom in the shower. Sink. The sink in the shower. This one was amazing. So you, you will always use this bathroom, but in case you need two, you can come over here. I'll show you how big the shower is. Lots of storage there. All right, so in-house shower. Now this, the water can be powered by electrical or propane power water. So huge shower. Okay, excellent water pressure. Sink, toilet, of course, pretty standard. Lots of storage. Okay, so I'm gonna have you come out here and we'll walk into the bathroom, or the bedroom, there you go. Let's just do the bedroom. King size bed. See, I'm six foot tall. Lots of room. Absolutely love the beds, love the mattress. And you can take a look at the closet also. Closet does shut. Lots of storage. And the RV is hooked up for a washer and dryer if you're interested. The attachments for the washer and dryer are in the very bottom of that drawer. But power back here. Your ladder, your table for the the table for the uh, driver's seat and the passenger seat. There's a table attachment that's right back here. Flat screen TV. Okay. Slider doors. Privacy door there. Storage for all your kitchen utensils, spices, cups, everything there. And then again, a secondary privacy in case you needed to. This actually worked out great. The bathroom does feel a little small occasionally, but depends on how big you are. But you close this door right here. This basically is the whole bathroom, and it's plenty of space. 
Um, so yeah, this is the RV fully extended. Okay. All right, so we'll talk about your uh, controls for some of the bigger items here. Now, I'm not a professional, but we've had the camper for a year now and it all makes sense. But basically you have your solar power charger here. This controls tells you how much your solar power is charging, whether it's on or off. Right here is your solar charge controller. Okay, now this also tells you what your house battery power is at. You can see right now 13.9 volts, okay? But again, you can tell what your power is for your chassis batteries and your house batteries on the touch screen uh, right up top here. Again, this is your master control on and off. So the uh, all the accessories for your uh, chassis, your radio, your touch screen up front, um, everything will be off and you can't actually use or start the engine while your control is off, which saves a little bit of power, but when you're operating, on. Okay, and then you've got another set of controls here. The awning is automatic, extend, retract, uh, step well lighting, and then light masters on, off. That's it, and this is, an, so the RV also has a propane heater. So an exhaust pulls the air out of the RV from right underneath the refrigerator and circulates propane heating and the heating element itself powered by propane to heat the RV is right behind this cabinet right here. So not only do you get heat from the floors, but you also get heat from these vents and the return air that pulls the air out of the RV is right to my right underneath the refrigerator. And of course, fire extinguisher. The exterior of the camper, might as well talk about this. So if you can still see me, I mean, there's storage everywhere. We have two kids. We traveled the entire United States. We were on the road for two months. We never, we had too much storage. But the exterior TV, awesome. I have it locked, of course. Is it open? Oh, I got the key, all right. Exterior TV, comes all the way out. Sound bar option. So we ran one Amazon Fire Stick for one, two, all three TVs. You run one Amazon Fire Stick from the switchboard inside. Propane's on the outside. Uh, of course, you've got your black water, your gray water. It does come with probably 30 foot of um, uh, drainage correlated pipe so that you can dump whenever the uh, waste area is too far from you. And yeah. So this is the outside of the wind sport. 220 power. So, oh, very important. So it, it is 220 power, but you have an onboard inverter. So included with the camper is an attachment to the 220 outlet to run a 110 power cord. So you can plug this into your house. You do have an onboard inverter in the camper, but I will tell you that you don't draw enough power to power both ACs. It, with a 110 power, with the adapter, the inverter will char, will power one AC. So we parked at families and friends' houses and we've closed the privacy doors and the bedroom stays, you know, whatever, 65, 70 degrees. And then, but again, so you can plug into a house, you have an onboard inverter, but the power is reduced a little bit. You do have to run 220 to run both ACs. Yeah, all right, thank you, good.